Hi Kirby fans, what we're going to do today is I'm going to quickly show you how to polish up your Kirby, whether it's really, really corroded, and this one really is, and how to get it to that really nice shine and sheen and back looking note. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button to support the channel. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so that's it in today's video. What we're going to be doing is, if you remember back, I got a new pickup, and it was a Heritage 2. Now this Heritage 2 was really badly corroded and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to polish it up, how to get rid of all that corrosion. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Right, so as you can see, I mean I've washed this but it's still really, really corroded. I mean you can actually feel the corrosion on there. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll go over it with some Silvo and I'll just use that with some fine wire wool just to save on using metal polish because I find Silvo is a lot cheaper. And I will put a link below where you can actually get this from. And I'll also put a link below where you can actually get the polish from that I use. Um, I do use Maguire's quite a lot, but I've also started using Mother's as well. So all we're going to do is just get some Silvo on there. Just put that on the spill. And we're just going to rub that around, 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 around just to get rid of all that embedded corrosion. Now I'm not trying for a very high shine because I'm going to get that out of my aluminium polish that I use. I just want to get rid of as much of that corrosion as I can. And you can see it is slowly going. Now, from what I've been told, the old aluminium is probably a lot better to polish up than the new. It's so apparently a better quality aluminium that was produced back in the 80s and the 70s. Um, but this does get rid of all that corrosion and I find, as I said, Silvo is a lot cheaper um, to use just to get rid of the corrosion. And what we'll do, we'll just buff that up, just see what that's done. Just give it a wipe. I mean, you can see already, you know, I haven't even polished that yet or buffed it up, but. rid of most of that corrosion. So we'll just go over this side as well. Oops, a bit too much. So it's a bit like the old chrome cleaner that you used to use, or the Brasso. It's another version of Brasso. It's obviously for chrome, aluminium, or any sort of type of metal, or silver. But it's really, really good on these Kirby's at just to getting rid of all that really old corrosion. And you can see again that you know it's it's getting rid of it and it's bringing a shine on anyway. But once you use our deep a decent polish at the end, it should bring it up really well. So it's got all this corrosion here. I know you're not going to see some of this, but I'm a bit pedantic when it comes to uh, cleaning parts. Even if they're not seen, I'd rather not have any corrosion. I don't know whether it spreads if you leave it on there, but it's just best to get all of that off. Work. 
Now whether you've got a generation series or an old legend, this works just as well on all of those. A bit of corrosion still there. So again, fine wire wall, not the really rough stuff. Just the fine wire wall. If you've got a buffer machine, you can do it with a buffer machine. But I haven't got one, I've literally got the one that goes on my drill. So what we'll do now is we'll just get some wire wool again and we'll put some polish on this and see if we can get it nice and shiny. That's step two. So some more fine wire wool. And I'm just going to use some of the wires now. Now again, I'm still using the wire wall because there is still some slight corrosion on here, but I find the wires works really well. Now you don't need to use wire wall if you haven't got any corrosion on there, but I find with the Kirby's as they've been stored, nine times out of ten they've been stored in a garage or a shed or up in a loft and you will get corrosion on there from all the moisture it's gone in there Put that off. okay so next up what I do is get some clean oil wool or even a rag so we'll try it with a rag now most all that corrosion's gone. Now what I'm going to do is just use some others and I will put a link below of where you can get this from. Everyone who's got a Kirby literally swears by this. So now what I do is I just get my mop one side I'll show you the before so there's the before and there's the after <laughs> so as you can see that's coming up really really nice it's really really smooth still a slight bit of corrosion there but the more you polish it the more you go but as you can see you can get just a good result by using a buffer so I'll just put some others on again and we'll run the buffer over the bottom. Like so. Again. And 
now, if we buff that off, there you go, mirror finish. So we're just going to use the same process on the head and the same process on here. So that should be four. Okay, and I'm using the same process as what I used and then I'll come back after I've polished them up exactly the same way as I did in the previous bit. And now this is the after. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that was really helpful for people that just wanted to know how to get the Kirby really polished up and get that really nice shine or even keep that shine on that Kirby. For those new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comments and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video and I'll see you next time.